Well, good morning to you. News 3's Theo Keith here on Madison's north side just off of Packers Avenue. We are in a community which can best be described as a mobile home community. And unfortunately, this morning, it is a community that is home to Madison's second murder of the year. This homicide police say happening in the 500 block of Wax Wing Lane. Uh, it happened uh, just after Rhythm and Booms last night uh, when uh, they got a call of a stabbing here on Waxwing Lane. They responded. Firefighters and EMS were unable to revive the man. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, that is the second homicide. They are actively looking for the man they say is responsible. The individual's name is Matthew J. Odell, O-D-E-L-L, -L, and his birthday is 11-5-86. Uh, and we're looking for him and questioning uh, related to this weapons offense and uh, homicide investigation. Well, basically, it's a good neighborhood, you know. There's a lot of good people here, you know. But then, you know, it's just like any neighborhood, there's a lot of bad people too. We responded here for a stabbing, um, and so that is what I want the public to be aware of, that um, this individual who we want to talk to um, in relation to this crime, um, should be treated as armed and dangerous. We were on scene here for a couple of hours before police came up and talked with us, saying that they uh, wouldn't tell us what kind of weapon was used in the stabbing, also wouldn't tell us why the stabbing happened, whether it was gang activity or drugs. They just wouldn't tell us any of that, saying that they do know the answers to those questions, but they didn't want to let on that they know in case the man they're trying to catch is out there and listening. Again, an armed and dangerous man is on the loose, Madison police say, someone that they want for questioning. Uh, in regards to this uh, fatal stabbing, saying that they don't believe he's a danger to the general public because they don't believe this was a random act. But again, anyone who stabs someone fatally is certainly a dangerous person. And that is why Madison police are saying, if you have any information on his whereabouts, you should call them.